Uh, hey guys, it's me, Jeff Grenade, and uh, starting my new Let's Play, Uncharted 2, on the PS3, obviously. Uh, this is a pretty short game. I mean, it's, it's not short, but it's not too long. I figured I'd do this just for the heck of it. Keep bonus treasures and medals. Yes, I will. Uh, normal, because I'm not crazy. Let's save data. Let's overwrite this. No big deal. Alright. So, this is one of my favorite PS3 games. I was thinking about doing an LP of the first Uncharted game, but I tried to play it the other day and I just can't get back into it. Uh, the improvements on the controls were a big difference, and especially the shooting. I did not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo, 1324. And Nate is not looking too good. What's going on? Oh crap, he is not looking good at all. That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Yeah, that's a lot. How are you not dead? You should be dead right now. Whoa. This stuff is flying out the, out the bottom of the train. Why am I describing what's going on on screen? I'm better than that. This is not a good way to start the day. Should have had that balanced breakfast they always tell you about on the commercials. Alright, let's get started. Chapter 1, A Rock in a Hard Place. No kidding. Okay, we're gonna do this a little bit different in this version of the game. First of all, okay, options, uh, controls, okay everything's good. Making, making sure it wasn't uh, inverted. Uh, store. Okay, two things I'm gonna do with this LP. First of all, Donut Drake. Yes! Also, going to turn off the gravity. It's pretty cool, but at the same time, it can be a bit of a handicap. But I'm going to see how far I can get with that. But if it kind of starts to mess me up during gunfights, then I'll have to turn it back on. You know, turn the gravity back on. Because uh, whenever you pick up weapons, uh, it automatically gets rid of the one you have and it like makes it fly away all fancy like anyway, let's get this fat bastard out of here weighing down the train with all your fatness yes you truly are the biggest loser of them all and yet he's very acrobatic for a fat dude it's always a good thing Thankfully, I'm not fat, but I'm not acrobatic. In fact, I don't exercise at all. I'm so lame. Hey, kids, you wanna get outside, get some exercise? I'm like, nah, I'll do some Uncharted 2. Who, ne who needs exercise? Although I think Nick could do with a little weight loss. Can't hurt. See, Drake, you're weighing down the train with all your fatness. It's not healthy. Or safe. It's pretty much impossible. Crazy platforming. They really improved the platforming in this game, too. It feels a lot more, I guess, smooth. I'm not sure what the word is, but it's good. And I love this part. No matter how many times I do this bit, I always think I'm gonna die, even though I always make it. I mean, look at this! Look at this! You think he's not gonna make it? But he is! Yeah! And that was a pretty big jump. So scripted. Oh, look, just look how fat he is. 
This is a fatty Drake. Big old sausage fingers. Take a rest, buddy. You've earned it. Buy me a drink, sailor. Yeah. Harry Flynn? Weirdo. Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Yeah. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. Yeah. Come here. Yeah, you over tell job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. Right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. He wants us to get a book? No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, just, yeah man, books are crazy. We ain't doing that. No two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. Must be one amazing book. The only one is cracked here, and you know better than anyone. Like the Kama Sutra or something. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. Oh, hi, other new character. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. I'm gonna be honest. Drake. I cannot stand Chloe. Hello, I do not Harry. like her at all. Chloe is one of the we didn't need her in this business. game. She'll we, take good we, we didn't. She didn't do anything in this whole game. All right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. Crash Bandicoot style the corner, all day. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Prince of Persia style all day. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. Is that a so shoot? That's it. An oil lamp. Oh, lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. I don't think Nate knows anything about lamps. He's like more of a, a platformer Some kind of guy. Collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. Of course not. It's just a picture of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Off the internet. Borrowed it. From the files of the nutcase. <laughs> From the internet. He has his own Trebizond, website. We were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much. How do you know? We were able to work out. Did it have his name on it? The rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands. I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. Under my bed. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. So I mean, it's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. The Thirteen Ghosts of Marco Polo. Uh, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left, and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift. It's a riddle with Mongolian script. The light of the great Khan shall the, the fate of the, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the Lost Fleet. He probably hid some cheese in there. He was probably hungry. But he didn't want to share the cheese with the rest of his crew. So he just hid it in there. Sky over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. You in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, don't say that, Nate. Now we're going to have to spend the next eight hours or so doing stuff. All right, Drake, get up. This amazing epic shot of a major train wreck, apparently. The heck happened here? Uh, well, controls are pretty much the same. You know, you can jump with X, punch, circle, roll with... I mean, you punch with square, roll with circle. What am I saying? Of course, now they have these uh, fixed camera angles to make it look more cinematic. I like that. Come on, Nick. Pick it up. 
And I'll squeeze your fat self through here. Almost clipping through the wall. Almost. But not quite. Ooh! Weapon. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, more ammo. Hmm, a padlock. I wonder what I should do with this. Also, that dude up there, if you, uh, if you shoot him, you can uh, get a treasure to fall out from down there. But since I already got it, there's nothing in there. But a floating person. Alrighty then. And don't waste your ammo on this guy. Nature kills him. Karma's a bitch. Well, yeah, Karma killed him. So what's Karma killed the beast? Come on, Nate, quit stumbling. Right, do some generic platforming. Just like every other third person action game. Death-defying leaps of... Ooh! I didn't think I'd make that. Alright. Climb on up. It's an amazing shot of the tanker over there. Whoa. No big deal. We can handle it. Oh crap! Well, he's dead. He's dead. It's all over. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Chaff Grenade. This has been Uncharted 2. Oh, wait. Flashback. Hello. Hi. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? This is a flashback, <laughs> Nate. Yeah, you might have warned me. And miss the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. <laughs> oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom, after all. You I really like the lighting in these jealous. scenes. They really <laughs> improve the graphics. Better, my relationship with like, I think they have a, a totally different character model for Nate really? and all the Most others. No. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. Okay, action, ass. So this was a good thing. Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. Nah, he's gonna be pissed. Trust me. That is an ugly painting. I hate it. Alright, time to get back up. Nap's over, fat ass. Time for more death defying platforming action. I mean, seriously, who could do this kind of stuff in real life? I mean, if, if anyone's ever seen that one episode of Mythbusters where uh, they're trying to hang on to, to an edge of a, of a wall, it's pretty hard to do, apparently. Trying to support your own weight by your fingertips. Duh. Jesus, Nate, you need to lose some weight. Oh, that rhymed! She, I'm such a poet. Oh, this. You see all this stuff up here? You see those guns over there? 